In this second tutorial in making cards flip with pictures on the reverse side, we'd like to show you a little bit about how to combine the three images, since all three required that they be in the center in order to spin or flip the way I wanted them to. For now, I'm going to leave track one as it was and just turn off the visibility so you don't see it at all. And then we'll go to the card one, put that on track number two, and again, this one is the finished product, the mini movie, and it will flip just like I wanted it to before. And then we'll also do the card two and the card three. Now in this case, we're going to stack them one on top of the other. Let's turn off our um, grid lines for now. Now when we play obviously the clip that's on the top since it covers all the screen even though it has black is the one that will win out. So all I see is my third clip of the gentleman. So what we need to do is we need to resize the clips so they don't cover the whole screen just the part of the picture. So here again I'm going to turn my grid line back on We'll just use a 3x3 three three in this case. And I'm going to take the third one. I'll click on Tools, Power Tools, and we'll do Crop Zoom Pan. We'll turn it to Freeform, and I'll turn my grid lines on to a 3x3. Three three. And now I am going to make this smaller to a third of the screen. So now the card of the gentleman is about a third the size of the screen. I'm going to click on OK. And we'll double click to get into the PIP Designer. Now I'm in the PIP Designer. The next thing I do is I'm going to move the image once I turn on my grid lines to a 3x3 three three here. Move the entire object over to the left. and we automatically begin to see the second card which is in the middle. Click on OK. And now as I scroll through it, I see both of them side by side at the same time. The next step is to take another one of these cards, the movie that we made, and do the same process in brief summary, it's Power Tools, Crop, Zoom, Pan, and then we'll go Freeform. We'll turn it to a third of the screen again. We'll click on OK. Then we go into our PIP Designer, and we take this image and we move it to the right. Click on OK. And now what we have is we have all three cards flipping over at the same time. So if we play them with some simple titles, this is what it will look like. The next step, if you want to make it a bit more complicated, is to stagger the pictures. Let's show you how to do that in the third segment of this lesson.